Welcome to the Armchair Adventures Travel Agency, Journeys of the Imagination. I'm head travel agent and host, Connie. On an armchair adventure, you can go anywhere you like. On an armchair adventure, imaginations fly. Welcome back to part two of the biggest obstacle course on earth adventure. The voices of this episode's join in adventurers are. Max, Henry, Wait, Alva, Lily, Harry, Amelia, Hunter, Isaac, Maya, Sophie, Artem, Machine, Daniel, Devon, Kobe, Jaden, Grace, Maggie, Ivan. Hi, everyone. Hi, Molly. So, last time we saw you, I wasn't doing so well in the obstacle course race. I told the gang I hate sports and exercise, so I knew it would be a disaster, and it was. I got stuck in a tunnel of mud. All of my lovely customers came to help me, but we all ended up falling into a giant puddle of mud when they came to heave homey out. We got absolutely covered in it. My uncle Chris got the worst of it. We splashed him so badly, he looked like a mud monster. So now we're just trying to get clean with these jet washers. All still, Connie. Water jet coming at you. Thanks, Steve. You two adventurers, they tend to jet wash all that mud off each other. Scurry the eyes. Take that. Watch out, Lily. That jet wash is on full blast. Careful, Lily. Run for it, Cyril. Oh, too late. Whoops. I was definitely all for giving up and going home, but then all the gang said they would be my teammates and do the race with me, but I'm still not sure about that. That's exactly what we're going to do. Go team. Go team! How will we ever do it, gang? We're going to use our imaginations, of course. Just like in all our other adventures. Our imagination will help us win the race. Why didn't I think of that? This sounds more like me. There is one big problem, though. I still have to do the awful, massive, giant, super difficult, biggest obstacle course on Earth. Come on, Connie. We're a team now. It's going to be great working together. Exactly, gang. And now we're all clean and not so stuck in the mud. Let's get to the next obstacle in the race. And try and catch up to the other nine contestants. Hold your horses, gang. If we're a team, we're going to need a name. What do we think, everyone? Who dares wins? Blood, sweat and armchairs. The positive people. Dungeon exterminators. The undefeatable. We're all cost. Team tough. The mocky dogs. What do you think our team should be called, adventurers? Adventure Squad. Adventures FC. Dino Club. The champions at last. Pikachu Squad. Team Adventure. Team Imagination. Team Imagination. Oh, I love that one. Let's go for that. I hope you're all sure about racing with me, gang. As sure as sure can be. Then let's go, Team Imagination. Where's Uncle Chris when you need him? What's the next obstacle, Uncle Chris? Hello and welcome back, everyone. Would you pass that jet wash? I'm still covered in mud from part one and it's dried solid. I'm still as a statue. It's quite hard to talk. We can do better than that. Grab onto one each, gang. Let's blast Uncle Chris clean. You too, adventurers. Grab a jet wash and pretend to blast Uncle Chris. Take this, Uncle Chris. Ah, thanks for that, everyone. So refreshing. Up next are the leaping posts. A long stretch of tall posts you have to jump across one by one. But watch you don't fall or you're straight into a pool of ice cold water. It's time to put our imaginations into action. Let's pretend they're lily pads. Yes, and we're all giant frogs ready to hop and bounce to the end. Whoa, I'm completely green. Just call me Kermit. This is so much fun. Look how high I can jump. Yippee! I'm catching flies with my long tongue. 
Look at all those beautiful flowers. They smell so nice as you leap past them. Woohoo! Right, gang, it's time to bounce on these lily pads. Last one to the end is a rotten egg. Whoa, this is fun. Look at my big wet feet. Um, I feel like I might fall into the water, everyone. These lily pads aren't as tough as you think. Don't overthink it, Connie. Follow me in the gang. Just jump off and onto the next quickly like this. Whee! Yes, I see now. More bounce, less think. Come on, adventurers. Let's all pretend to be frogs and jump across these giant lily pads. Yippee! Ribbit! Ribbit! And did you say? Oh, so green. Here we go, adventurers. Connie and the gang are now at the beginning of the leaping posts. How are they ever going to? Wow, this is unbelievable. They're leaping away and clearing it with ease. How are they doing it? What a turn of events. Connie and the gang have overtaken some of the racers and leaped up the leaderboard to take fifth place. Before we carry on with our journey of the imagination, here's another podcast that I love to listen to, and you might too. It's called Super Great Kids Stories. Hello, armchair adventurers. Do you like Chinese dragons, African trickster spiders, Irish leprechauns and Russian witches? Then listen to our award-winning storytelling podcast, Super Great Kids Stories, presented by me, Kim. Wise tales told by the best storytellers around the world. Recommended from ages 5 to 105. Our stories are designed to inspire families to leave their screens, learn about the world together and laugh. We encourage children to join in and become storytellers themselves. Parents tell us their children listen for hours, stop arguing on car journeys and start drawing pictures of our story characters. Search for Super Great Kids Stories on Apple, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Snip, snap, snout. Our story is out. Now let's get back to the action, adventurers, and see what obstacle we're going to use our imagination on next. Wow, that was amazing, gang. Thanks so much for your help getting through those lily pads. No problem. It's all part of being a team. We get through it together. Let's do our champion warrior stance, gang. Right you are, Connie. I put my hands on my hips and do a mean face. Roar! Roar! I put both arms in the air like I'm winning a race. I've got two fists in front of me like I mean business. What about you, adventurer? Can you describe your warrior stance? I put both hands on my hips because I mean business. I put my fingers in the sky. I crouch down and get my fists ready. I make an OK sign. I fold my arms and tilt my head. I flex my muscles and stamp my feet. Now give us a big warrior roar, adventurers. One, two, three. (laughs) Thanks, everyone. I'm ready for anything now. What's next? Connie and her team are racing to the next obstacle, the monkey business bars. Will they be able to carry on up the leaderboard and swing their way through a hundred meters of swinging hoops? Right, team. I can just see the front runners up ahead. What should we make happen this time to get us across and into the lead? We could have magic gloves. Or we could pretend to be Tars. We could be superheroes. Bagsy Wonder Woman. I'll be Calamity Sue. Maybe this treasure at the end. Go! So many good ideas, everyone. What should we do, Connie? How do we choose? We'll never get across at this rate. Don't worry, team. We've got this. 
Let's use all of them. We can pretend it's a video game and we're all superheroes and put on our magic gloves, collect all the hoops as we swing through until we get to the treasure at the end. Right you are, Captain Connie. Captain Connie. I like that, Coach Steve. But watch out for the snapping crocodiles below. Oh, this idea with those. No fun without a bit of danger. Right then, let's go for it. Hang tough, everyone. Pick your superhero and power up, Team Imagination. Gloves on. Come on, Connie, I'll race you. It's become like a computer game character. Oh, I'm not used to this. I'm going all over the place. Don't worry, Cyril. Hold my hand. And Pauline, you get Cyril's other hand. Great idea. We'll do this together. Thanks, team. What's in your imagination as you work your way across the monkey business bars adventurer? I'm like Superwoman flying through the sky. I'm like Spider-Man using my webs. I'm Batman using my batarang. I'm imagining I'm a robot monkey swinging through the trees. I'm Mario. Let's go! Am I really seeing this adventurous? Connie and her team are soaring through this challenge. They look so graceful, swinging through the air. No one would think they had a collective age of over a thousand. Wow! This must be the biggest comeback in history. Connie and her team have taken the lead. I'd say I'm lost for words, but let's face it, I never am. The crowd are going wild! But don't celebrate too soon, everyone. They have finally arrived at the last obstacle. Dead in their tracks, in front of the mighty, the huge, the terrifying Wall of Doom! Don't hurt your necks trying to see the top of it. Right, Team Imagination, let's take this wall. Imagination, engage. Steve, you said you've climbed Everest in your imagination, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Turbo climbing boots, go! Magical pickaxe, go! Super duper warm but flexible expedition suit, go! Everest, just try and stop me. I'm Captain Connie, expedition hero, and I'm ready to magic axe my way to the top. I cannot believe my eyes here at the biggest obstacle course on Earth, adventurous. Connie seems to be having no problem scaling this wall. She looks like a mountain climbing spider, scurrying her way to the top. How on earth has she done it? Incredible! She is literally meters away from the finish line at first place. And just like that, we're at the top. Team? Are you with me? Team? Why aren't you following me up, gang? What's happened? Don't worry about us, Cully. You just get going and win the race. We can do it. Don't wait for us, Cully. Yes, go on. Go and win it. Oh, I don't know what to do. I've always been last in sports, last to get picked, never won anything, and I'm actually enjoying it. I'm so close now. I could actually do this. Imagine everyone's face when I'm showing off my shiny medal. First place. Oh, what shall I do? I had so much fun with everyone. I really couldn't have done it without them. They supported me when I felt hopeless, encouraged me not to mention that working together as a team was the most fun part. But if I just run a few more meters, I've done it. I'd be a champion. I've never felt like this before. I could carry on, win for once, I could take the glory now. But if it wasn't for my customers, my friends, my team, it would never have been possible to realize.
tough, Team Imagination. I'm coming for you. <gasps> what is going on? This race has more twists and turns than a tangled shoelace. Connie is heading back down the wall and down to the bottom of the leaderboard. Connie, what are you doing? I realised the best bit about this whole experience was having fun and using our imagination as a team. But you haven't won anything before. And you could have taken the gold. I don't care about winning, gang. I've realised that I can enjoy exercise in my own way. I'd take pretending to be a frog to get moving over winning any day. And being part of Team Imagination has shown me that that's how I love to exercise, as part of an amazing team, like us. Glad you enjoyed it. Go team! That's a spirit, Connie. How are we getting up this one then, Connie? What will take us to the top? Well, Steve has been the best coach ever. And he was telling me about how he climbs Everest in his imagination. So, I took a leaf out of his book and did that. Whoa! You climbed Everest too! Well, I might have given it a Connie spin. I transformed myself into Captain Connie, expedition hero with magic boots, pickaxe and climbing suit. Sounds amazing. Oh, oh sounds brilliant. I want brilliant. to be an expedition Can't hero. Can't wait to join in. Ooh, I'd love let's to have a go, go. That. Come on, everyone. Let's climb. You too, adventurers. Suit up and let's show this mountain who's boss. I've got magical goggles that'll help me see into the distance. Watch out for my magic hat. My magic boots help me run away from danger. I've got magic goggles. I've got my big warm hood on. Whoa! This mountain is so rocky. Watch out for the snowstorm! Oh no! It's a snow monster! Quick, climb! Go, go, go! Yes! Ah. Ah. Oh, there, gang! Hold on to my incredible expedition rope and let's go one by one as a team. Oh, we're here. We finally made it to the top. Just arriving in last place is Connie and her team. Hello, Connie. That was an incredible race full of highs and lows. I felt like I'd climbed Everest and I was only watching. However, you all seem in good spirits considering you just finished in last place. The thing is, Uncle Chris, I don't actually care about winning. I love being part of a team and using my imagination to enjoy exercise. I never thought it could be this fun. And even though I've just finished a big adventure, I feel full of energy. It's been great for me and the gang too. Goodbye aches and pains. I definitely feel better for having joined in. It's been a right laugh too. It certainly has, everyone. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've really enjoyed myself. So. How are you feeling about sports day now, Connie? I'm gonna do it, Steve. I think I'll have so much fun on a team with my friends. I'm already imagining what some of the events could be. Like a high jump over an elephant. <laughs> or big springs in my shoes for the long jump. A superhero tape to fly you to gold in the relay race. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being such a great coach, Steve. I couldn't have done it without you. My pleasure, Connie. And you, gang. Team imagination for the win. See you next time, everyone. Ta-ra, see you later. Bye, Connie. Bye. Bye. Ta-ra, Connie. End call now. <coughs> Lovely. Before you go, adventurer, why don't you get moving with your grandparents and friends too? Imagine your own obstacles together and see what weird and wonderful ways you can think up to get past them. All around adventure. This episode was funded by Sport England Together Fund, supported by Greater Sport, and co-produced by members of Deepak Dristi Social Group and Age UK. Thank you.